All right, after many, many hours of grinding, trying to get and complete the four runners callus, we have done it. I've gotten the 700 kills in total to uh, masterwork it. But, but before that, what you need to do to get this callus is go ahead and get to rank 16 in uh, the reputation progress for Zur here. I can see here, this is the item to pick up. Once you get to rank 16, you go ahead and pick this up. And there's a, one more step after this. What you need to do is go ahead and get 200 and 225,000 points um, in Dares of Eternity. You can get that in normal mode, but uh, it is probably easier to go ahead and just LFG a legend, which is very simple to do. Go just open the web, log into Bungie's website, and it's just very, very easy to join people. Just, just do that. It's super easy. It takes like a couple minutes and you're you're gonna find a party very very quickly don't worry about it it's super, legend version is very very easy no need to worry about that so you can see here when we go to our career you actually can see in destinations our total amount so you, this is normal score you, you can get above that score normal but you get lightning round or you get legendary which or legend version which you, you'll get above that so choose what you want you can only get this score if you have a lightning round. If you don't know what lightning round is, it's a random chance to get lightning round. Uh, you can do it get it in both, obviously, normal and legend. But it's a higher chance to get it in legend. But there is no prerequisite. There's no way to trigger it. Only by playing legend gives it more of a chance. And your the more points you've earned has a slightly of an increase of being more efficient. You might get more of it. But uh, that is how lightning round works. So now... I'm going to try my best to show you guys, you know, I guess what it does and how it works. So I have, I'm going to show you some PvP, PvE, and then I'll show you some PvP um, footage. So let's go ahead and head to Last Wish Raid. Of course, when you do reach level or rank 16 as well, you get, you can get the ship, the sparrow, and the ghost. The ship is honestly, well, this is a ship. It is really cool, in my opinion. I think it's the most unique looking ship. Uh, as there's nothing like this in the game. It is literally a rock. Oh. And you get this cool comet trail, which is pretty cool. Of course, you get the ghost as well. Um, the ghost equator show. Kind of cool. And then the sparrow, which is, you know, it's all right. Now, I'm going to try my best to go through it about everything. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show what the catalyst does and what else like in PvP. And then also after that, I'm going to just go on a complete detail of how to efficiently grind uh, Dares of Eternity. So there's that. So first of all, let me show you guys how it works. So first things first, every time you get a kill and you you just have to press, hold down your reload button. Whatever your reload button is, it will trigger the rock uh, perk on the gun. So here's an example of this. So there's no indication you got a kill at all. So when you kill something like this, like one thrall, hold R. And there you go. You see on the left there, we have the rock. Now we press Q. We see the bottom left, we have the grenade icon. Go to grenade. And there we go. Grenade kill. Now there's no indication of when you get a kill. So do that. And then you just hold it. It's just one kill. And you do this. Now, what it does is that it consumes ammo. So when you see we have 46. Let's do, uh, let's see, 45, right? When we kill one thrall, we hold it. Consumes eh, about... That's a decent chunk. I think it's by percent amount. I don't know exactly, but hard to say. There we go. That's pretty much it, really. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can really rock grenade jump. I only never really tried it, I'll be honest. You can. There you go. So you can do some grenade tricks here and there. Um, but yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't replenish your grenade. So like, just throw this away. Right, and you have the firepower mod, and if you charge of light, it won't charge it. Look, it replaces a grenade, but it's still going to be the same as before. As you can see, it doesn't do anything. But it does spawn, if you do have the mod, it, it will spawn a, uh, expl a, a solar uh, well. Because if you have the explosive well maker, that also works. So that's pretty cool. You do that. Just do the same amount of damage, as you can tell. We can go ahead and kill these knights over here. There's a grenade. Kaboom. 
that's it. All right, let's try to show you guys some PvP. I don't know how the best footage, but it does one shot if you're curious, I guess. Okay, so PvP, you have about, you spawn with eight bullets and it takes three headshots to kill. So you got a kill right there. See, now I have a hold down R, got a grenade. I'm gonna go ahead and Kamikaze myself here to see if I can one shot. That's all guys coming. I throw it on the ground. Bang, it did 180 damage right there. That's one example. That guy was really confused of what the hell was that. Of course, it would be confusing because nobody really had, nobody has seen this really. So it's not like eight bullets and it consumes five uh, bullets no matter what. If you have four shots, you're not going to get a grenade um, from it. So I'm going to try best to show some more examples here. Let's see. This is like my first time using this gun in PvP, so I'm really bad. There we go. So we consume, we just consumed like, I don't know. It also reloads your gun as well. But I didn't notice that at all. But yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. So I have a grenade, and I didn't kill anybody with this, but I just want to show you guys, like, like what kind of radius we got here. So hit two of them. That, the radius, I did 74 damage and 14 to the other guy, so it's not a big radius. It'd be, like, really close. But I do have one more kill at the end here, just to show you guys. So I think it's about around here. We got another grenade here. We don't have the ammo, but we picked it up, and it still counts. So it's a big, pretty long timer. You have the grenade there. 142, but, like, it was pretty far away, so... That's all I got right there. And that's about that's about the showcase right here. Now I'm gonna go with the nitty gritty stuff. Okay, like I've said, to get this done, you gotta go ahead and play a ton of Dares of Eternity. Of course, you have many months to complete this. You shouldn't. Damn, Bungie doesn't want you to rush this, obviously. But I got it done just for the content. I don't know if it was even, was it even worth it. I don't even know at this point. Um, but here I am, I guess. So uh let's take let's take a look up take a just, let's talk about how much i did and how much how much i played all right so you can check here of our stat tracker that's not that's lore here we go uh let's see let's see let's see how do we even check i don't even know i've got destinations there it is i have looted 89 times i did the activity 89 times now like i've said some people out there has gotten less than me and actually got the rank 16 so it might not take 89 89 89 tries or 89 attempts on this activity um so here's the main issue so the way it works is that when you actually go ahead and hover over and read what it says here for dares of eternity it says a progression rank that goes up as you complete matches in Dares of Eternity. Consecutive completions help you move up faster and there are no loss penalties. So this is kind of true. I'm not, maybe I'm confused with what it says, but it does increase your points. You know, it does, it does increase, but I never really saw an, a perpetual increase. It was just the way it works is like, every other rep system you get you know brave one brave two brave three then heroic one heroic two heroic three then mythic one mythic two mythic three whenever i got into a new rank system not a tier i got a little bit extra more so right now when i was a mythic i was getting 185 points when i was in a heroic i was getting 170 points so it was like a 15 increase but i had you know that's that and so with, with how this works now is that um every tier has a different amount each time it actually it does in each rank does increase the amount you have to get it does so if you're brave one maybe maybe back 500 points but then brave two is like 700 points to get to brave three and then brave three is like like 900 points to get to uh heroic so it does increase over time um but you're supposed to get more maybe it's a bug maybe it's not true but it was some there's literally some rounds when i had in brave one and two or in Heroic, where I got 90 points, which I'm supposed to get double that points. So I'm not sure there's some bugs. I've lost a lot of points. Plus, uh, with some other issues where the game is crashing. Uh, there's of Eternity, there's some bugs. Apparently, the Cabal boss is bugging or crashing. It crashes the game. It, no error. Your game just crashes, and you just lose that entire progress, that 10 minutes of grinding. Um, and not even that. Even the, the Hive encounter, Hive, Hive boss, I crashed using the swords. And the Vex, I would crash when a lightning round happened and Ogre spawned and then I just die, crash. So I can't do anything, that sucks. That ruined a lot of runs and I had to do extra runs because, well, I lost all that stuff. Now when it comes to average and my builds for this, so for the most part, I used Titan and 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in full detail of how efficient and how much how how fast I grinded all these. Pretty much, I guess play this passively. You don't have to, don't have to do what I do, but this is if you really care enough and you really want to, you know, get this done fast. Um, this is my build I used. So I used uh, Galahorn. So bow, normal composure, or whatever any fusion rifle, and then a Galahorn. Obviously, you can use if you have a better heavy than use that. But Galahorn is super super useful. And then we have mods wise, we have explosive ball maker, multiple charge. Uh, ordinance and lentil and with the light those are pretty useful and we're using uh, bottom tree sunbreaker um, and the reason why is because sunspots are op and that's it I mean, honestly um, other than that we use uh overload bow for the overload champions and galahorn two shots a barrier champion basically so i don't worry about those at all and unstoppable only spawns in the lightning round so not to worry about that that much but particle this new construction is pretty useful with that so that's the build i used and i'm gonna try to show you guys some footage of like how runs go i said average each round about 10 minutes per clear uh, my fastest run is eight minutes below so we can go pretty fast when doing this pretty much so at the very start most of the time i'll just throw the two uh, rocket launcher shots here and just hit the taken uh, phalanxes and just kill them both and then just clear it. it takes about usually get this done in about 30 seconds um the first very first part and i'm trying to go by trying to go like simply over the first encounter it's nothing too difficult like everything uh, it's not hard to explain but like there's like certain spots where i just stand most of the time i just head over here and i just uh get a get the raid banner and then we just straight up just use our galley and just clear the f middle part and the side parts and just try to you know use the bow whenever it's overload champion and yada 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 you're doing i do a lot of work when it comes to this kind of stuff um but here we have fallen just you know just clear out all the ads fast as you can look around just shoot it you know just use all your heavy ammo you don't need it honestly for the most of the counters for the first phase you don't you don't really need it that much it's not needed you could just spam it all your grenades and all that stuff not a big deal when it comes to the fallen phase with the briggs you just you don't have to do much really you don't have to kill the briggs you just stand next to it you shouldn't be worrying about it too much uh you just want to go ahead and stand just run in a circle you can kill them but it's not that bad once you just get all the spikes or the bombs then you can go ahead head to the middle and then you don't, don't just ignore the servitor and cap the four points and you're pretty much good to go that servitor you don't need to kill it's just there to be an annoyance pretty much one of the most important things to do is to go to the top path of the obby it is the best buff you need that buff it, that will pr propel you as fast as you can uh, i'm playing on titans to make it a little bit easier if you're playing a hunter you might be unlucky but there's ways to just ne you can you can fail but like you just got to make sure you land on the platform um but you do not want to fail this at all um this is pretty much the best buff what it does is that it gives you infinite heavy ammo and that's all you need with galley you will not run out of ammo and you, just gotta, you can infinitely shoot so always go for the top buff you never really want to skip this you have to get it uh it is technically it is the best it is the best thing to get you can spam all you want pretty much when it comes to taken you just go ahead and kill two minotaurs one spawns at this at the beginning of each area and just just spam and then you're good to go you just this is the easiest uh phase basically just don't worry about it that much. Just straight up go ahead and just go put all the orbs in and then go to the next area, use your galley or whatever heavy and just kill the next one. And then you just, you're done the first phase. It's really easy to do. I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, that is that. When it comes to the Cabal area, either it doesn't matter which map, you always want to stick to one side only. Um, and you could just farm three of the enemies. So you just take this one ball right here all you do is to, if you go on the left you stay on the left it's same thing on the other arena you just go left and left or right on right just do that and then you want to do is basically you you do it once and then you shoot with your uh, fusion rifle one time one clip and they will die from the bomb if you just throw the bomb at the guy he won't die instantly so just go ahead and throw the bomb at or the core at the uh the enemy there and then shoot one clip or something or do some damage and it will die over time so just do this so one two three just throw it aim your fusion rifle one clip and then you're just you're good to go and then done that's it the, the cabal part this is really easy it, it might seem long the other maps the other area arena is very big it's much bigger but you just want to make sure that when you when the other one does pop up just go ahead and just camp the sides and then just keep going 
usually it's only dealing with three respawns. So just do this three times and then just, you know, clean up the other side if, it, if, if it's not doing well. But, you know, just go as fast as you can and you should be good to go. So with Hive, you have to go ahead and kill, uh, destroy crystals and having the buff. So all I do for this one, I use the fusion rifle. I have the crystals memorized. So this is more on my my side. I just memorize the crystals. So I know where they spawn. So I just, it's one clip on the fusion rifle. And I just shoot all of them. I'm really, really fast with this. And I make this phase very, very bearable for everybody else. So I don't have to worry about pretty much doing anything. I do all the work most of the time. And I just do that. And then once I get to this side, I just kill this knight. And then I get the buff for this one here. This is usually my how I run this room middle, and then I just go back on this area and then kill the rest, pretty much. And then if I have a bow, just two shots of the bow, and then that's it. And I was done. That was like not even 20 seconds. There we go. Fast team. When it comes to the boss here, you want to kill the hive. Oh, wait. Well, I mean, this is, this is the treasure, which is random chance, but it's the easier one. But normally, it's a hive ogre. All you have to do is, you know, kill that guy, and it takes two galley shots. To take down the immune shield immune shield then just do dps but still stand in the buff because you guys would dps so fast that uh what do you call it you'll dps so fast that you'll proc it against it there's two phases to it just you'll have the buff still if you're standing it standing the standing the green dust and you would just kill it quickly so very easy to do with the ogre for sure the Taken boss in room two is just very simple. Pick up the orbs, do a throw three. And not much you can really do here to speed it up. It's just if everybody just does damage at the same time, then you just keep, you know, three orbs or four orbs, kill them, kill the minotaurs, and then that's it. Not much, you can't really speed this one up. It's pretty simple stuff, but you're you're forced to, you know, do some extra work here with these orbs. All right, when it comes to Vex in the first arena, I just camp this area first because this is where the Vex spawn that spawns the eyes to remove the immune shields on the Minotaurs. So I just st stand here most of the time and let them spawn, pick up the Void Cranium. And I, I you can either hold it down or tap it. I just tap it because I because of hit reg and latency. So usually you one one eye, one Cranium will take down one full shield of a Minotaur, but with lag, it might not always happen. So I just make sure to just, you know, take it a little bit slower. So I just tap it sometimes. I just let it go each click and see if it can, can work. Let me, let me, let me see what happens here. Look, literally I mess this up a lot. Let me see. So timing is a bit awkward sometimes, but see, I just barely miss, but then if I'm playing on Titan, I can just land on that and I just jump. That's a normal thing I usually do. I always miss, but I always just, you know, I can recover pretty quickly. I really show that I really show this. You don't just go slow. Just you know, you don't have to jump or anything. Just go when it's uh, you're good to go. I guess. When it comes to Vex boss in room two, uh, it takes two lasers to kill. So you can't really speed this one. You can't speed up either. You just gonna have a team that's you know actually paying attention and you know shooting and picking up the craniums to uh, you know do a lot of stuff. Not, that, not much you can really do about this one. It's just this one's kind of slow, but uh, yeah, that's just how it is. Sadly. And that's pretty much all the encounters. Except for that. I didn't go with the Cabal one. The Cabal is pretty simple. Uh, when in, in this room, um, for the cores, they so the uh, the guy spawn the back, uh, the core guys, and uh, the uh, I don't know the other guys. The immune shields spawn in the front over here. So yeah, they pretty much just trek pretty far, uh, back up, back and forth. So when it comes to these doors, they're completely RNG, but. This is how I see it, and I'm not sure if they might rotate weekly, maybe different bosses, but for this week, right now, it's Cabal, Hive, and Vex. Um, and what I normally do, I, 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 no matter what, doesn't matter what it is, I always choose Vex. It doesn't mean it's always going to be Vex. The reason why I choose Vex is because two things, or one thing. One, uh, I don't need the buff for the other bosses. The Hive boss, you only use the sword, and uh, the Cabal boss, it's not needed at all, honestly. But for the Vex boss, it's the only boss right now that you can pretty much uh, DPS and one phase it. With having the buff where I can have infinite galley horn shots, it is pretty much the most beneficial buff. It doesn't. I don't really like. I, said, I don't need it for Cabal hives. So I always go for Vex, and I seem. I, I seem to. Uh, I seem to pretty much convince everybody uh, every time I do stand on the door. It seems like everybody just does the same idea because it feels like that is the best solution. You don't need a buff for the hive. You're not doing damage to Crota if you you need the sword to do damage for Crota. So there's no point for that buff. You don't need it. But the Vex part, 
since we go one phase this boss um it is very very simple now since we're here i'll go over the boss for this i'll be honest um, very very simple thing to do uh, i do the exact same thing every single run basically for this boss so for of course first things first you just gotta dodge the walls once we dodge the walls i go to the left side of the wall the left side here right and i just kill the hydra either using my galley or kill, kill these uh harpies here with my galley um and the first thing i do is i get my bow out then i kill the and kill a champion you need to kill a champion in order to start the second phase here so i shoot it one galley one fusion rifle shot and it's dead then i have to wait for the other champion to be defeated usually it takes a bit of time because i kill really fast got to worry about my other team and all and at this point now we just gotta just dps the boss with the buff we have infinite heavy we just go ahead and straight up and just kill it it is usually one phaseable if everybody is doing dps pretty much i'm not sure if this team was doing dps but hopefully in this video i was at so sometimes he'll teleport to the left which is pretty annoying uh after he gets about what, about 60 percent health they go to the left side and then about 40 percent health he will get to the back to the middle so just keep watch of that pretty much um he will teleport back to the middle soon here it is pretty annoying i'll be honest and there he is back there fusion rifle does a lot of damage still the alley is still good but you can still do a lot of damage with the fusion rifle that stuff so there you go go and phase him quickly as possible you can do whatever you want. This is the fastest boss, but, you know, get lucky and hope that you always get him. But it's him. I got him about 70% of the time out of everything. I got the Cabal boss like three times out of my six hour session. So, uh, you know, Vex, good choice. I'll be honest. And there you go. 185 points. And there you go. I don't want to go with the Cabal boss. It's simple. And the high boss is simple. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is it. All right. This is about i say 10 10 11 hours of grinding not in not in a row but it's a lot okay trust me it's a lot of work so i know it's a very very long video i understand that i just try my best to go through everything the beginning part is important and if you st stuck around to this long then sure hopefully uh, some of my tips or anything i've said is helpful um like i've said it's a lot of work uh, but is it worth it eh, maybe the gray is pretty cool uh, would I ever use it? It's really hard to trigger in PvP, as you like I've said, you have to pick up ammo uh, in order to make it useful, because you get eight shots, three shots for headshot, unless you weaken them with another gun or someone else shot them. Um, three three headshots to kill, and then you use up five five of your bullets to get a grenade, and that grenade can one shot if they're in a decent radius. I didn't really test the radius. I'm not a big tester, but there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you watch this far, very cool, but uh, it's a cool catalyst and all that good stuff. It's pretty much completed. Still need the Arbalest catalyst. Cool. Nice.